Welcome back to Historical Highway, where we journey through the corridors of time to uncover the secrets of our past. Today, we're embarking on an extraordinary adventure into space, focusing on a mission that has captivated scientists and space enthusiasts alike, the Clementine Mission to the Moon. The Clementine Mission, launched in January 1994, was a joint venture between NASA and the Strategic Defense Initiative Organization. The mission's primary objective was to test advanced sensors and spacecraft components under extended exposure to the space environment, and to make scientific observations of the Moon and a near-Earth asteroid. As we look up at the Moon, it seems a calm, barren landscape. But Clementine's journey would reveal that our celestial neighbor holds many secrets beneath its surface. The spacecraft carried a suite of sophisticated instruments designed to map the Moon in unprecedented detail. The mission was named after the song, Oh My Darling, Clementine, reflecting its purpose of being lost and gone forever after its mission. From its initial orbit, Clementine began to scan the lunar surface with laser altimeters, ultraviolet visible cameras, and high-resolution imaging. These tools allowed scientists to create the first ever detailed topographical maps of the moon. The mission's findings were nothing short of groundbreaking. One of Clementine's most significant discoveries was the detection of possible water ice in the moon's south polar region. Using its bistatic radar experiment, Clementine sent radio waves bouncing off the lunar surface. The data suggested the presence of ice in permanently shadowed craters, a revelation that sparked excitement and further exploration. But that was not all Clementine uncovered. The mission also revealed the moon's diverse geological features, from vast plains to towering mountains, and provided new insights into the composition of the lunar surface. These findings helped scientists better understand the moon's history and its evolution over billions of years. Clementine's journey took an unexpected turn when it captured images of a mysterious structure on the far side of the moon. This anomaly, which some have dubbed the Blair Cuspids, consists of several towering spires that appear to rise from the lunar surface. The origins and nature of these structures remain a topic of debate among scientists and conspiracy theorists alike. As Clementine continued its mission, it also mapped the moon's magnetic fields, providing data that suggested the presence of ancient lava tubes and volcanic features. These features are believed to be remnants of the moon's volcanic past, offering clues about the processes that shaped the lunar landscape. The mission's success didn't come without its challenges. Clementine experienced a computer malfunction that prevented it from completing its secondary mission to the asteroid 1620 Geographos. Despite this setback, the data collected from the Moon was invaluable. In addition to its scientific achievements, Clementine played a crucial role in testing new technologies that would be used in future space missions. Its lightweight design, Advanced imaging systems and autonomous navigation set the stage for the development of more sophisticated spacecraft. The discoveries made by Clementine have had a lasting impact on lunar science. The evidence of water ice on the moon's poles has influenced subsequent missions, such as NASA's Lunar Prospector and Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which have continued to investigate the presence and distribution of lunar water. The presence of water ice on the moon opens up exciting possibilities for future human exploration. Water is a vital resource for sustaining life and can be used to produce oxygen and fuel, making long-term lunar habitation more feasible. This discovery has reignited interest in returning humans to the moon, with plans for establishing a sustainable human presence on the lunar surface. Clementine's legacy extends beyond its scientific contributions. The mission demonstrated the potential of international collaboration in space exploration. By combining the expertise and resources of different organizations, Clementine set a precedent for future cooperative missions aimed at unlocking the mysteries of our universe. As we look to the future, the Clementine mission serves as a reminder of the importance of exploration and the pursuit of knowledge. It challenges us to continue pushing the boundaries of what we know and to never stop seeking answers to the questions that lie beyond our world. But the story of the Clementine mission doesn't end there. As scientists pored over the data collected, they found even more intriguing clues about the Moon's past and its potential future. Among these findings was the discovery of unusual mineral deposits that hinted at volcanic activity far more recent than previously thought. This suggested that the Moon might still be geologically active, a finding that could reshape our understanding of lunar evolution. 
The data also revealed insights into the moon's tenuous atmosphere, known as an exosphere, which is composed of trace amounts of elements like helium, neon, and hydrogen. Understanding the composition and behavior of the exosphere is crucial for future missions, as it affects everything from communication signals to the behavior of lunar dust. In addition, Clementine's findings have provided valuable information for the potential use of the moon as a stepping stone for further space exploration. The presence of water ice and other resources means that the moon could serve as a base for missions to Mars and beyond. Scientists are now exploring ways to use lunar resources to create fuel and other necessities which could drastically reduce the cost and complexity of deep space missions. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Clementine mission is how it continues to influence lunar exploration today. The technology tested and the data gathered have informed a new generation of missions. For instance, NASA's Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon by 2024, is building on the foundations laid by Clementine. The Artemis missions plan to establish a sustainable human presence on the moon, using the knowledge gained from past missions to ensure success. Moreover, international interest in the moon has grown, with countries like China, Russia, and India launching their own lunar missions. The global effort to explore the moon is a testament to the enduring legacy of the Clementine mission and its role in reigniting interest in our closest celestial neighbor. As we reflect on the Clementine mission, it's clear that its impact goes beyond the data and discoveries. It represents a spirit of curiosity and determination, a desire to explore the unknown and push the boundaries of human knowledge. The mission's achievements remind us of what we can accomplish when we work together and strive for excellence. In conclusion, the Clementine mission to the moon was a landmark achievement in space exploration. Its discoveries have deepened our understanding of the moon and opened up new possibilities for future exploration. The mission's legacy lives on in the technologies it tested, the data it collected, and the inspiration it provided for future generations of scientists and explorers. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through the history and discoveries of the Clementine mission. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Historical Highway for more captivating stories from our past. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep discovering.